Hi, everybody. This is Don Gulling, CEO of Vertex Consulting, and I have with me today Mike Dufilly, uh, WatchGuard certified trainer and our most senior WatchGuard uh, certified engineer. We're going to spend some time with you to give a tutorial and a demonstration of how you can use traffic management and rate limiting so you can control how much bandwidth is available for specific kinds of web applications. So why would you want to do this? Uh, we get calls frequently, business owners or managers, and they're concerned that some of their users may be either downloading too much streaming media, like Netflix or web radio, but they want to give them some capability to do that. They don't want to shut it off completely. So what you can do in WatchGuard, and what we're going to show you how to do, is set up a rate limiting uh, traffic management policy for streaming media. So you can set aside a certain amount of bandwidth that they cannot exceed, so you can still give them some freedom to use those websites without choking up your internet bandwidth and slowing down your other critical web applications. So that said, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Mike Dufilly to walk you through that tutorial. Mike? Thanks, Don. Great to be here with you today. Um, so the first step in enabling uh, this kind of traffic management feature is to enable the traffic management option within your Firebox. Um, we can do that through the web UI uh, here under the system and then global settings. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, enable changes up top here. You can actually see I've already selected to uh, uh, make changes. I'll just re-enable that here. And then go to the networking tab. On the networking tab, you'll see here, uh, just towards the bottom, the traffic management and QoS feature. It's uh, already enabled here on our Firebox, but if this isn't enabled on yours, you'll wanna check that and hit the save button here. And once you've enabled that feature, you want to set up a new policy that's used to rate limit the connections. Um, we do that under the firewall section of the web UI and traffic management. And what we'll do here is create a new traffic management action. See, I've got a couple here now. What I'm going to do is create a new one and uh, we'll give it a name here like uh, streaming media. Um, you can also add a description if you'd like. The type here, we can make a choice. Uh, if you want to rate limit streaming media for your entire organization, you can choose the type here, all policies, and we can set a maximum bandwidth that will apply to all streaming media connections within your organization. So let's say I wanted to limit that to 10 megabits per second for the whole organization. I can set it like that. If instead I wanted to give each user in my organization a limit of bandwidth they can use for streaming media, you can select the per IP address option. And then I would recommend setting that lower, maybe let's say a one megabit per second connection, and then save that policy. Now once we save that traffic management action, we're going to want to apply that to a policy. In this case, we're going to use an app control policy um, the reason you want to use an app control policy is that it can actually identify that streaming media uh, no matter what protocol it might be coming in on. Um, so to do that, we'll go here to subscription services and then application control. Now if you already have an app control policy in use that you want to apply this to, you can select it. In our case, I'm going to create a new one with the add button here. Once I hit add, I can then choose to give this a name. I'll select media streaming limit here. And then what we'll do is we'll select the entire streaming category. In this case, you can sort by categories and see that there's a media streaming services category predefined for you in the watch guard. And then we'll select everything in this category <clears throat> and choose edit. And now the action we want to apply is going to be our new streaming media traffic management policy. Uh, so that's the one megabit per user that we predefined just a minute ago. Yes. Great. Perfect. Now you'll see here under action, it's allowed, but it has the streaming media traffic management action applied. And then we'll sit save here at the bottom. So now I have an application control action that will limit bandwidth for everything in the media streaming category. And now finally, the final step is to make sure that this application control uh, is applied to the policies on our watch guard. So to do that, here uh, on the kind of bottom half of the screen, I can see the different policies that can have application controls assigned to them uh, here in the bottom half. What I'll do is I'll scroll down a little bit to uh, my two internet policies and I'll select them here. 
and then under the Select Action drop-down, I'll just choose Media Streaming Limit um, and hit Save here. And so now I've applied that application control policy to these two uh, uh, firewall policies to make sure that that's active. Um, you'll definitely want to apply this to any uh, policies you have set up on your Firebox for Internet. Um, also recommended on any kind of any or catch-all policies that you might have, uh, also handling outbound traffic from your organization. That's great, Mike. Thanks for showing us that. Um, so one quick question as a follow-up. You set this rate limit policy. It's in place. Uh, users, will they will they notice this? Or I guess if I go to Netflix and try to stream it, maybe it'll only be standard resolution instead of high resolution. But typically, they probably won't see it unless they're trying to do something they shouldn't be doing in the first place. Definitely. Uh, obviously, it depends on the user and how much they're trying to do. Uh, someone who is trying to you know stream Netflix may notice it. Somebody who's just listening to some internet radio or Pandora or something like that right. probably wouldn't. Great. Wait, and... and uh, if you have more detailed questions and you want to go and do a deep dive into your specific situation, or maybe you want to talk about multiple policies for different groups or policies for specific users, we'd be glad to help you with that. Just contact us uh, via your regular support channels, uh, email help at vertex.com, or call our toll-free 877-VERTEX number. Uh, ask for our support team, and we'll be glad to assist you. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate that, and uh, thanks for joining us today for that tutorial.